In the wake of yet another school massacre, some students and parents want a ban on assault weapons. Authorities say a teenager used a semi-automatic rifle to kill 17 people at a high school in Florida last week. Getting rid of those guns seems like a logical fix to advocates of gun control. But what is an assault weapon? Good question. Heather Brown explains how they work and why crafting a new band could be challenging. I understand why I could still go in a store and buy a weapon of war. To some, it's just one part of a solution. We want assault rifles off the market. But to others, assault weapon is simply a term used to instill fear in everyone else. It's an age old debate. It is. And that's part of the problem with this debate. There's not even a real agreement on what an assault weapon is. There are automatic weapons like machine guns that fire for as long as you hold the trigger. Those are legal in the U.S., but very highly regulated. Then there are semi automatic weapons, which reload automatically, but only fire once when you pull the trigger. Semi automatic? Yeah. Well, I mean, there's pistols, shotguns, rifles. Mm hmm. So a lot of different types. A lot of different types. In 1994, the federal government defined assault weapons as part of its ban. Assault weapons were certain semi-automatic firearms with military-style features. Capra's Todd Lundstrom gave us an explainer on the rifles. It could not have more, two or more of the following features. A pistol grip. It allows the person to hold on to the firearm. A bayonet mount. That is to attach essentially a knife. A flash suppressor. It's not a noise suppressor. Mm -hmm. What it does is it diverts the muzzle flash. Or a collapsible stock. And they can make it fit them better. This rifle has one of those features. This one has four. So these are two AR platform rifles. Correct. But this one would be illegal under the old law, and this one would be legal. Uh, essentially, this style of AR platform rifle was born out of that original federal assault weapons ban. That ban also included high capacity magazines, anything more than 10 rounds. That law expired after 10 years in 2004. Heather Brown, WCCO 4 News. The expired federal ban also exempted hundreds of different firearms. It also grandfathered in any of those assault weapons that people owned before 1994. Experts who have looked at the aftermath of the law say it's unclear if it had any effect on mass shootings or on gun violence.